Dear students, now we will discuss about uh, the distinctive characteristics and qualities that must be acquired by the social workers uh, in, uh, while performing their professional roles uh, in, in providing the welfare services uh, to the deserving segments of the society in the field. So a very important uh, quality which should be present in the personality of a social worker is love of people. Uh, as we know that social workers have to work for the welfare of the humanity, for the welfare of the people. So they must have uh, the sincerity uh, and love for uh, their uh, uh, clients and for the people for whom they are uh, um, rendering the welfare services. Love of people is uh, usually the greatest motivation for social work students and social work practitioners uh, to become involved in interventions. A prerequisite is uh, therefore that a social worker must like and be entrusted in people. Another important quality uh, which should be present on the part of the professional social worker is of uh, emotional maturity. Emotional maturity uh, suggests a complete developmental state but is something that each uh, social worker can strive uh, towards. It implies, amongst others, that a worker must have a sober image of reality and um, be able to work independently, cope with frustration, control impulsive behavior, recognize related factors, and take definite actions to solve the problems. An emotionally mature person is uh, able to realize and acknowledge his or her human feelings um, and the feelings of the client. Such a worker can work through hurt feelings, through disturbed circumstances and imbalanced conditions, and can identify, examine, acknowledge and correct their own faults as well. Um, Another important quality which should be present in um, the role of a professional social worker is uh, the quality of self-awareness. Self-awareness implies that the social worker is striving towards self-acknowledge by being in touch with his or her own needs, motives and values of his or her profession. The worker attempts to be in control of his or her feelings and behavior and is not uh, easily threatened by others and uh, uh, is not easily to be hopeless uh, and helpless by the unfavorable social circumstances. And the, the uh, worker is comfortable with him or herself in every uh, kind of uh, circumstances. The worker, is, uh, the worker is also uh, aware of personal unresolved conflicts and uh, makes every attempt not to allow this or harm others because of uh, uh, having the quality of uh, self-awareness on his or her part. Uh, then um, the social work practitioner must have a strong interpersonal communication abilities. Uh, and, and this communication must constantly be maintained at all levels. This implies therefore that communication must be both tactful and uh, acceptable. Uh, the ability to listen should be equally good uh, as the ability to talk. And the social worker must be aware of the effect uh, that his or her conversation is going to make on the part of the client. And uh, uh, simultaneously, uh, the worker's verbal and nonverbal communication 
um, uh, the impact of verbal and non-verbal communication uh, should also be known by the workers uh, that the impact that conversation is uh, uh, is going to uh, make on the part of uh, others. Um, then uh, the workers, uh, the social workers, must have a strong, empathetic understanding. Uh, and why? Because not all people can enter into another person's world of experiences with the same ease. Empathetic understanding involves being able to think with someone by separating yourself from your own frame of reference. This must, however, be an objective action uh, so that you do not take on others' uh, uh, problems. Uh, the social workers should have the quality to learn in an eager manner, and the social workers must be eager to learn. No social worker can ever be uh, truly competent if he or she is not eager to learn. This involves uh, an ambition to know more so as to deliver a better service with a comprehensive understanding of all the social phenomena he or she is going to uh, tackle. This is achieved through uh, self-development -de and this can be attained through um, having the eagerness to learn. Although basic intelligence is necessary, no doubt it is influenced by the workers' openness towards learning. The social workers must be open and must be ready uh, towards learning in all the circumstances. And um, uh, social workers, social work practitioners must avoid these kind of statements such as, uh, I'm very experienced, I work from experience, uh, I have an intuitive touch and uh, my intuition is telling me what is uh, going to happen in the next moment and what will happen in the future. And I do not like studying because I know enough. Um, this usually indicates a learning block that can seriously hamper the competency level of a social worker. Um, then another important quality is uh, assertiveness. Uh, it is becoming all the more important for the social worker to act assertively with systems. This involves the manner in which the worker handles, expresses, and asserts himself or herself in the face of others. This involves the capacity of the worker to convey um, for example, knowledge, values, and skills in such a manner that the rights of all participants are respected. All the rights of uh, other are respected by the worker, including uh, the rights of the worker as well. And this doesn't imply a passivity or uh, aggressiveness from the worker's side. Uh, another uh, significant quality uh, which uh, uh, is a necessity to be attained by the professional social worker is uh, preserveness. Uh, preservance. Uh, there is the tendency both nationally and internationally to expect social workers to provide more assistance with less resources. Um, Fortunately or unfortunately, this kind of expectation exists in every corner of the society. For this reason, the social worker must be uh, tenacious because uh, progress, development and change is uh, sometimes laborious and slow. So the social workers must be realistic and uh, challenges must be accepted, no doubt, without any hesitation and uh, should have a motivating effect upon the uh, worker. A social worker must be a responsible person. And as a social worker, um, as a professional social worker, 
uh, work to a large extent autonomously and uh, as a member of uh, the team in any uh, social welfare setting. And there's a great responsibility is owed to the clients and the community in order to comply with these said responsibilities, the worker must be self-disciplined and primarily responsible uh, towards uh, his, his or her profession, towards his or her client, towards his or her, um, even toward, towards uh, uh, himself or herself as well. The responsibility of uh, the social worker is uh, comprised uh, specifically of professional responsibilities uh, such as maintaining confidentiality and general ethics. If the worker doesn't take basic responsibilities seriously, his or her professional position will be seriously compromised and can be regarded as equal to that of the client system, the part of the problem.